Hi, this is Richard Romano from What They Think, and we're here in Las Vegas, Nevada at Printing United 2024, and we're talking with Kali Malkenbur from Canon. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Richard. Nice to be here. Now, one of the many things you're showing here at Printing United is the new Vario Print iX1700. So tell us a little bit about the press, where it fits in the market, and the kinds of applications it's good for. Excellent. Thank you. We're very excited to have the first public viewing of the Vario Print iX1700 in the United States. It was, of course, shown at Drupa earlier this year. Uh, this press fits in our portfolio between the iX3200 and the ImagePress V1350. We feel there's sort of a gap in the market where this press fits because right now uh, for production inkjet, there's a lot of high quality presses at the upper end, but there's not anything more down market that fits that quality need. And we're hoping that this press that can support 14.3 uh, by 26 inch media at speeds of up to 165 images per minute will fit that market. So what are some of the specific print applications that it's, it's well designed for? Well, we are targeting commercial prints and direct mail implants, so that's a lot of your collateral, postcards. It can even support up to 450 GSM, so some light packaging could be in there as well. So now what do you see of some of, some of the, the larger trends in the industry that are heading more and more printers towards production inkjet? Uh, well, I think, you know, the, the trend to try and capture the offset pages uh, offset is still very viable in the market, but it is a, it's skilled and the run lengths are <clears throat> getting a lot shorter. So you're missing the labor to run the offset press and it's a lot of time uh, to do the, the make ready, to get everything ready for these shorter and shorter runs on offset. So I think the, the ideal for Inkjet is really to try and capture some of those offset pages as the runs get a lot shorter and the turn times, of course, a lot faster. So just pulling back a little bit, what do you see as some of the major challenges your customers are facing and how, are your, how is Canon and specifically the production inkjet equipment sort of helping them solve it? Well, a major challenge of, I think for vendors as well as customers is labor, as I said. So any automation we can bring to it to make it easier for an operator to run, uh, less skill for the operator, and even operator maintenance to make sure that, you know, the press can get up and running, you know, maybe they don't always have to wait for a service tech to show up to help them with an easy problem that they can resolve on their own. When we talk about automation, you, know, you come to the show and you talk to 10, 10 people about automation, they'll have 10 different definitions of what automation is. Uh, so how do you define automation, at least in the context of, of the variable? I'd say automation is taking out, uh, you know, human touch where you can take it out to minimize uh, errors and waste, right? So how can you simplify the process um, and just keep it more streamlined. Well, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Richard. It's great meeting with you.